up, Bass Babes? It's your girl, Joy. And as you know, I'm back with another banger. I'm gonna get right into it from the thumbnail. You kinda have an idea what this is about, honey. I just got home. I don't know what time it is, y'all. It is five o'clock. I just got home from professional development. I was there for a couple of hours. Professional development, teacher learning, continuous learning. They want us to do more reading with the kids um, for the next year. So we're doing different trainings, different strategies, so on and so forth. And I just got home. I ate me a little snack, took my clothes off. Now I'm getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> I'm getting after this, honey. I'm popping the eyelashes off, honey. Gone. Poof. Disappear on the counter, in the trash, on the floor. And then I'm gonna find me a movie. And I'm just going to chill. And then tomorrow starts all over again. Tomorrow, I wanna go find a desk because I feel like there are ideas in my head and they just need to come out, but I think I'll work better with the desk. So I have the piano over there and child, I ain't doing no piano. I want to, maybe another time, but I think um, having a desk over there would be more productive because I have some ideas in my head and I think not working from my bed will be a little more productive and it'll make me a little more proactive because then I just want to sit here but once I move to the desk you know thin desk so anyway I am here with our new question of the day honey come on we need that dialogue give your opinion leave it in the comment section below sis leave it in the comment section below seriously for real sis okay what's your top three non-negotiables top three non-negotiables in a relationship and why hunty i always say this i'm gonna give you one of mine no, i'll give you two i'm gonna tell you this and i'm gonna say it i said what i said and i meant what i said and that's what i said and that's what i mean you have one opportunity and i mean one so you better make it good good put your hands on me you better make you you might as well go for it make it good make it worth it because baby you only have one opportunity to do that there is no going back there is no i forgive you there is no they didn't mean it there is no none of that done finished thank you Thank you very much. Been waiting for that. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. You only get one chance. Because nine times out of ten, if they do it once, they'll do it again. And people will treat you the way you allow them to treat you. And baby, putting your hands on me will never, ever fly with the basil. <laughs> I've done some dumb stuff in my life as a teen and a young adult. Trust me, I've done dumb, dumb stuff. But that one, I never, never bend on that one. I remember when I was younger, this boy smacked me so hard, honey. Knocked me off of my feet. I passed out for a few seconds. Knocked me off of my feet, baby. And I think I was probably 17, 16. Baby, that was all she wrote. Mm -mm. So I had that guy, and I think I talked about it with my, with my children many, many years ago when I started vlogging. And no, mm -mm. he smacked me into a new week. Mm -hmm. And then he was crying and begging for forgiveness, begged my mama and all that stuff. Uh-uh. No, not happening. Next caller. <laughs> Not happening. And then, of course, uh, some of you may know I'm a domestic abuse survivor. And it was like more mental abuse. And I was like, you know, they're not hitting me. So a lot of people don't consider uh, abuse unless they are hitting you. And so I think mental abuse is worse than physical abuse. And then I, one day he had one cuckoo moment and he crossed the line from the gray area to alert. This is it. There is no turning back. And no. And that was it. That, that was it. And I should have left a long time ago, but that was the icing on the cake. 
whereas my children and I were ready to sleep in a van. There was, there was no way I was going back. And plus, he went to prison. So, my other one is, I, I really don't like a liar. I don't like, I don't like liars. Don't even tell me a white lie. For what? What you lying for? So, if you lying about that, what else you lying about? Don't even tell a little white lie. For what? Shh, I don't like people lie. Telling little stories. For what you doing that for? Lying. Anyway, so those are my top two. Number three, um, I guess lying and honesty will be about the same, I guess. What you lying for? Be honest. So I feel as though those are the same. And um, really, those are the two big two. I can't really think of anything else right now. I'm quite sure you guys can come up with the top three non-negotiables in a relationship, physical violence, and not being honest, and, 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 and just a lie. Oh my God, child, let me listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen. Bebe, I used to be with this guy. I'm not gonna say his name, but we called him LL for lying, whatever his name was. <laughs> he was LL. He would lie all the damn time. I'm like, the, everything out of his mouth was, a, that's the one who hit me, by the way. That's the one who hit me. He would lie all the time. Oh, and of course, somebody who, who cheats. A cheater. I don't want, what you cheat? <laughs> Back in the day, I used to cheat a lot. You know, I, I ain't even gonna front her. I ain't gonna front I ain't gonna front you. Anyway, we ain't talk about that. We talk about, you know, you know but we grow and we mature and we do things differently. You understand? So, you know, we, we're not talking. Anyway, but, but then he used to lie all the time. Ooh, LL. Ooh, everything out of his mouth was a lie. Couldn't believe nothing. Mm -mm. So, leave your comments below and let me know your top three non negotiables in a relationship. I feel a cough coming on. <coughs> and you know. <coughs> And you know I still have that cough. So, leave it in the comment section below. I was going to do another question, but I'll save it for later. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I go, I do not know who sent this to me off my teacher's wish list. <laughs> um, it's still there. <laughs> Feel free <laughs> to peruse my teacher's wish list. <laughs> Because after getting uh, my daughter that car, <laughs> there may not be many upgrades this year in the classroom. Um, somebody got me earphones, little earbuds um, for kids who need that listening help or whatever it is that we're doing. So they got me a box of earbuds for my classroom. And sometimes they'd be like, oh, do you have an earbud? No, I do not. And so I'm so excited, so it's a whole box, but there was no name or anything that came with this. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And if you are watching, make sure you let me know who you are in the comment section below. And I really, really appreciate it. I really wanted these. So I want to give a shout out to the person who got um, my classroom some earbuds for the next school year. Thank you. All right, guys. Bye, y'all.